Creating a thank you page for your online store is an excellent way to build customer relationships and increase sales. This video will show you how to easily create a custom WooCommerce thank you page by using Seedprod. Seedprod is one of the best website builders for WordPress used by over 1 million WordPress sites. It helps you create high converting landing pages, custom WordPress themes, and responsive website layouts without coding. You can even use Seedprod's drag and drop builder to create WooCommerce websites without hiring a developer. So the first thing we're going to do is install Seedprod. I have a clean installation of WordPress WordPress here, and then we'll go ahead and install WooCommerce after that. Let's head over to seedprod.com or you can click the link in the description below. And I'm going to be using the pro version, so you can click on get seedprod now and select the account that makes the most sense for you. Once you have an account with seedprod, let's go ahead and click on login. On the left hand side, you can enter your email address and your password that you set up with seedprod and then click on the login button. Next, let's go ahead and click on the downloads tab here. It's a second from the left and we'll click on the big orange button here to download seedprod pro. We'll also need the license key here in the bottom left hand corner. We can click this little icon here to copy that to clipboard and I'm going to go ahead and close this tab. Next back in WordPress let's go over to plugins on the left hand side and add new and up top here we have the upload plugin button let's go ahead and click on this and we have the choose file button you can click on this and select the seed prod zip file that you just downloaded from your hard drive or if you're using a similar browser as I am you can click and drag this and drop it right on the button and click install now. Great let's go ahead and click on activate plugin here. And lastly, let's just paste that license key in that we copied earlier and we'll verify key. If everything went well, you should see a green success message. I'm just gonna go ahead and close this tab at the bottom. So since this is a WooCommerce thank you page, let's go ahead and actually install WooCommerce as well. So we'll go to plugins and add new, and this will just be a quick step. And of course I'll leave timestamps in the description below if you wanna skip ahead. Let's type in and search for WooCommerce and I'll install this plugin right here. And let's go ahead and click on activate. Here it'll go through the WooCommerce wizard here. I'm gonna skip this in the bottom using the link below. And I'm gonna click on no thanks for this little message. Great, I'm just gonna add some test products here. So I'm gonna to go to personalize my store. And right here in step one, I'm just gonna import products. And this will put some test products in here for us to work with. Great, now there's just one more plugin that we need and it's called thanks redirect for WooCommerce. So if we come back under plugins and add new and we can do a search for this here, thanks redirect for WooCommerce. And what this will do is it'll help redirect our thank you page to our new custom one that we're about to create. So I'm gonna go ahead and just install this and let's go ahead and activate. Here it's asking me to opt into our security and feature updates. I'm just gonna skip this part right here. And there we go. So this is what we have installed, Seedprod Pro. Thanks redirect for WooCommerce and of course WooCommerce as well. So now on the left-hand side, we have Seedprod. We have landing pages, but we also have Theme Builder. Theme Builder is used for creating full websites. You can create WordPress websites or WooCommerce stores as well using this feature. For us, we're just going to create a thank you page. So let's go ahead and use the landing pages. And with the landing pages mode here, you can select to create a coming soon page, a maintenance mode page, a custom login page, a 404, or you can create just straight up landing pages, which is what we're about to do. So let's click on add new landing page. And here we have all of the pre-made templates that come shipped with Seedprod. These are professionally designed and mobile friendly. And we actually have a filter here. So we want to look for the thank you pages. So these are all thank you page templates that we can go ahead and use. You can select one that you like to give yourself a head start, or you can create one from a blank template. For this, I'm gonna use the order completed thank you, and I'll just hit the check mark here, and you go ahead and give this a name. It's gonna call mine thank you, and you can see the page URL is here as well. Let's save and start editing the page. So here you'll see the seed prod page builder and you can see on the left hand side that we have our blocks and blocks are different elements that we can drag onto our page. So now we can see all of these different outlines such as the purple box, the blue box, the orange. The, the purple is a section, this is a row and columns and then we have our blocks here which are orange. So for example, if I want a headline such as thank you, I can just click the headline block and drag that onto my page. And now I have one here. Now here I can click on block settings and we have all of the different content options here. I can change the text. I can change the alignment, the font size. We can do advanced options here too with topography, color, text, shadow, spacing, etc. And all of these options will change based on what type of block it is. So for example, if you have video and you put that in and click, you'll have different options here on the left hand side for videos. Let's go ahead and delete this. So one thing you might want to do is update the font here or maybe even the colors to match your WooCommerce store. So on the bottom left here, we actually have global settings. Let's click on this cog wheel here. And here you can see the fonts tab. Let's open this up and we have the header font and the body text. So for example, if you're using this font here, you can update all of your headers with that font. Here's a body 
So let's go and find a different one, maybe this one flavors, and you can see that these have updated on the page to match whatever you might have set on your front page for your store. You will also have font themes here if you just want to find quick pairings, so you can find one that you like. I'll go ahead and click on this one, and you can see that this updates based on what these are set to. And that's the same thing for colors here, if you want to set different colors, and we have color palettes here that you can select that have predefined colors. We have a very minimalistic look here, so I'm going to keep it like that for now. We also have the background here, so you can change the color if you wish. You can put that to something different or maybe dark and change your text to something light. So here, maybe I'll just do a light gray background, just a subtle look. You can also add a background image or even a video background if you want to add something like that as well. We also have some custom CSS that you can expand into the editor here, and you can type in your text. Great, to come back to our blocks, we have this little icon here, and this will bring us back so we can start building the page. So something that you might wanna do is add a WooCommerce upsell. So a quick way to do that, instead of building all of the columns and the different parts from scratch, we have sections up here as well. So we can click on here and let's look for a hero section. And I'll just find one here that I like. Let's go ahead with maybe this one. It has a picture, some text, a headline. Let's just import that. And you can see this purple section was imported below the rest of our page. So here, let's click on the image and I'm gonna go ahead and use my own image. You can also use stock images if you like. Let's go ahead and use your own image, media library. And here you can maybe find the product that you want to upsell. So maybe this blue t-shirt, for example, we'll go ahead and select that. Now you can see a picture here. Let's go ahead and update this by clicking on block settings for the headline. And then over here, you just write in the title. Here we have some description of the item. So you can go ahead and write more, put in different information about the product. And then we have a call to action here. We're actually going to remove this. So instead of a button, which you could actually use to send people to the product page directly, but you could go one step further. Since we have WooCommerce installed, we can scroll down to the WooCommerce blocks. And we actually have add to cart. So let's go ahead and select this one and drop that right at the bottom. Let's go to the block settings. And here we can actually set this to add this item directly to your cart from clicking this button. The one thing that we do need though is the product ID. So we have to go find that. Let me show you how to do that. Let's go to save and we'll X out of here. And then let's come over on the left-hand side. We see WooCommerce and we see products. We wanna go to products and all products. And you just wanna find whatever that product was that you were looking at. And I believe the item that we're looking at is this one here. If you hover over, you'll see that the ID shows for each product here. So for this polo, it's number 23. So we'll just copy that. We can come back to seed prod landing pages and we can see the thank you draft here let's go ahead and edit this and we'll click on the button here and now we can just put 23 in here right here we want it to direct to checkout so when they click on this it'll go directly to the checkout page and you can update this if you wish and there's some button subtext here this will go right underneath the main text it's a little bit smaller so you could put some more details about the product or any type of pricing difference or anything you want we have alignment, so we can do left, center, right, or the full width. Let's go ahead and use the full width. The button size, so small all the way up to two times large. I'll just keep this on maybe medium or even large, I think is fine. We can minimize these to get more space. We have icons here, so you can add a before icon or an after icon. Let's go ahead and add an after icon. I'll just type an arrow, and let's do a button to the right side so you can see a little helpful icon there to kind of encourage people to click on this. We also have templates. So these are pre-made templates to change the style of your button. So maybe you want something to stand out. Let's go ahead maybe for the flat button for now. And I think that looks pretty good. If you wish, we can also resize the columns here. So maybe that picture is a little bit too big. You can make that a little smaller and this looks a little bit more compact and then you wouldn't need as much text here either. Great, I think that looks pretty good. How about for this section, we actually select it and we can go ahead and give a different background here. We can actually maybe make that white just so it stands out a little bit different. And let's go ahead and add another section below this. This will just be a single column here. So I'll select one column and let's go ahead and back to the blocks and get the headline. I'll drag this in and we can rename the title here. Here is what everyone else is buying and we can go ahead and show some best selling products underneath here. We actually have a block for that as well. So if we scroll all the way down to the WooCommerce blocks here. We have best-selling products. Let's go ahead and just drag that and drop it right in here. And it shows quite a bit here. So let's go ahead and change the settings on this. Let's click the block settings. Let's go ahead and show maybe three columns. And we want to limit this, maybe just three different products. We don't have to show too many. We don't need the pagination because we're only showing three. And the query here is best-selling products. We have different queries here as well for sale products, feature products, custom queries, all products recent and top rated you can come under advanced tab here and change the settings here for however you wish 
description topography price price color lots of different options here as well let's go ahead and update our buttons here and here we have the button color so right now we have the style is flat we can change that to one of these let's go ahead and change the button color to match this blue so i'll select here and change this of course you could change the button color in the global settings as well to all be blue if you like we have the button topography for all of the topography options font size line height etc uh, and we have the button size so we can make these a little bit smaller or bigger if you wish come down we also have some image options here for a shadow so you could add a shadow to the images if you wish i'll leave that off for this example you have border radius so you could make them round in image it's hard to see there with that background we have the border style we have border color image we could actually add maybe a white border color here and you could add some image white space as well so you can see how that sticks out there a little bit let's do something around 10 i think that looks good and then down here we have spacing so you can open this up you have margin and padding we have attributes for different css ids and custom classes that you can add and device visibility for how this will display on desktop and mobile excellent once you're happy with your page let's go ahead and save this and we can actually click the drop down here and publish this let's go ahead and see the live page great so there you go you can see a thank you we have our message here we have the item here that we can add to our cart directly we also have the best selling items here and if you wish you can keep going and adding more and more to this page if you like great so the next thing we want to do is close out of here and we want to redirect to this thank you page so we're going to use that plugin that we installed earlier so if we go to woocommerce and settings we can come out of the products tab here it's the second from the left and you'll see this plugin right here thanks redirect 3.1 so we can go ahead and select this and now this is easy to use. All we need to do is enable global thanks redirect and then paste the URL that you want to redirect here in this field right here called thanks redirect URL. I'm going to redirect just this URL, the seedprod.local slash thank you. You're going to change this to whatever your thank you page would be located at. And then I'm going to go ahead and save the changes. And there you go. You're all set. You now have a landing page with WooCommerce, completely custom made with SeedProd. You can change this design however you wish. And it is now currently redirecting to the thank you page after every order by using the thanks redirect plugin. Now that you know how to make a custom WooCommerce thank you page, maybe you would be interested in this video on how to create a WordPress theme from scratch by building an Instagram profile page clone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.